What's up guys, Natasha Martinez here for Complex. Today I'm in downtown LA about to talk to an exciting designer. His name is Peter Cho, owner of Utopia, and his own Utopia studio is inside his apartment. You guys, he upcycles everything. Everything is one of one. So let's go have some fun with him today. Hey, what's up, hey, hey, what's up Cho? Okay. Thanks for having me for in your show, space. No problem. Welcome, welcome, welcome in Utopia Lair. Yes. Let's get it. So talk to me about your collaborations. Like how many collaborations do you think off the top of your head have you made so far? Recently, ever since doing TikTok, that, that shit jumped everything because of the visuals and mm -hmm. this, the vibes. Mm -hmm. And so like probably maybe like 10, 15 okay. big ones. Mm -hmm. so this is like a, a just a pure upcycle piece. Like I bought some shit from Kith, and they had the bags and the tissue paper. Oh my God, this is the this tissue is the, paper. Like a sticker that also wow. comes in the bag, and like this was like just early on stuff. Like I do stuff for the fun and mm -hmm. just just to get shit going, so then someone else can see it. So I know that your whole thing with upcycling kind of started out of necessity, right? Because you didn't have like much money at the time to buy different materials. So that yeah. was your idea, right? But now that you're in a place where you're successful, you're making a lot of, you getting that sponsor money. <laughs> Why is it important for you to continue to upcycle? Brands want to do stuff like, cause they all have old merch and things that they throw away and it's wasteful. So we can use those products to show that can be new things. Mm -hmm. So that goes into the storyline. But why I still love to offer that to just individual people is because that's how I started and you get the individual storylines that are just like incredible. So it's like m my mom may have passed away and she yeah. had these remnant things and we can make new things and do gifts. And it's just yeah. like, as I said, maybe before plenty of times, it's like, these are cool items that you and I will see like that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But to the people that it's meant for with the storyline, it's like absolutely priceless. Let's like show off these pants too. I like these, these are Let's the Let's go. I made this with my boy Kid Super in New York for New York Fashion Week 2019, fall, winter. Um, he had this crazy concept, super upcycle vibe. He got like a ton of clothes and like, not figurative speech, like actual weighted ton, a ton. of clothes. Wow. So I went and grabbed all the shirts, as many shirts as I could find and just ripped off the tags, unseen the tags and I just sewed them onto these pants. These pants were already made. This is just a great concept of like old pants that we reworked and we used all the tags from mm. like the clothes, 500 tags. Do you feel like having this being showcased at Fashion Week, do you feel like the future of fashion is going to be going more in the upcycling direction? They should honor it, of course, and have like upcycle collections from, but it just, it just, like there's just so much. It's like almost impossible fight. Mm. And for it all to change, like the consumer mind has to change. Not just the brands being like, these are upcycle pieces. Yeah. It's like, then it's like, well, why are they just as expensive as the originals? Yeah. And it's like, well, it's the same amount of work, actually more work, but that's like a long fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got some interesting bags over here that are gorgeous. Let's go, I appreciate you. This is what I call the wall of bags. Immediately I'm drawn to this off-white one. Cause yes, this is a flip from the off-white shoes into the bag. And I these are it. both some shoes here. We got the Supreme Oreo one with the actual Oreo in it. That's not gonna expire for like a million years. Yes, that's sustainable. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's sustainability. <laughs> this is the bandana bag yes. made from like 16 bandanas, fire. Another off-white one mm -hmm. that was with a brand, I should say. I was seeing other people blowing up on TikTok, you know, and I was like, man, I should be, I should be lit, you know? And that's when I started doing it. And pe people, all my friends were like, bro, you're, you got the energy, you make cool shit. I still do, like, I still think Instagram is like the wave for like business, okay. like your business presence. Mm -hmm. But TikTok for like marketing, it's like, it's unmatched. It's incredible. Yeah. And honestly, I feel like a lot of, you know, people who be watching this, kind of looking up to you, maybe, their own young designers are still working their nine to five and figuring out when they can make that full transition. You just gotta really go for it. So like what I did was like, I'm working a nine to five. You gotta cut out the fat of your life if you really wanna make that shit happen. Sell the car, sell the clothes, sell the shoes, no more going out, no dates, yeah. no drinking, no nothing. 
nothing, like for real. So since I'm such a fan of your TikTok and your work, Thank I actually you. brought some old Complex magazines. Let's go! Uh, so do you think we can, you know, do a little something with the magazine? I would love that, magazine? but it would be amazing. It would be high key amazing if you did it with me. Okay, you let's help me prep. prep. Let's and do then, the prep like, together. I'll, I can teach you to take And then a process. voiceover TikTok afterwards. Let's get it. Let's go! Fire. <laughs> Fire. Oh. Complex throwbacks, you know, baby. Yeah, they don't make these anymore. It's Damn. very special. Um, this was actually, I think, our last physical copy of the magazine. This Kylie was our first Complex Con cover. This is one of my favorite shoots. Oh, dope. Ever. Maybe right now, our first things first is like, let's strip down the covers and just okay. flex the covers. Like, okay. but you can you can cut or rip. Okay, well, I'm so. gonna do what Cho does. Yeah. Get that. Kind of a finesse, but there you go, exactly. So I want to kind of take it back to like the old days, like when you first, first started, you said your grandma gifted you yeah. your first sewing machine. Sewing machine. So did she teach you how to sew too, or she just gave you the machine? She and... had a sewing machine because she used to be an interior designer. How it, how it all started is like I was an accountant and I was getting my pants tailored because you still want to like look fly, yeah. you know? And so I was getting my pants tailored by my dad's company. He had a tailoring company after he retired. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, instead of like driving back and forth, we can just teach you how to sew. Mm -hmm. And then that's how I started to sew. So there's our, this will be our piece, but this will be okay. our preliminary piece. Okay, so why don't you measure and I'll cut. Okay. Deal? Okay, we'll do that. Okay. So when did you start like realizing that you could create garments or things with different materials? It truly first started like, uh, I used my the laptop keyboard. It was like a cover case for that, like mm -hmm. the little silicone one. Yeah. And I was like, let me like see if this sews. Oh, interesting. And, <laughs> and I sewed it on a t-shirt for a friend. Oh. Then the next one was actually, shout out to ComplexCon 2018, when Jane Smith was there. I okay, yeah, yeah. And um, my friend was like, you got just water, bro. Let's use just water and I'll give it to him. So that was actually the first, one of the first like, big celebrities that got my shit. And, and you're gonna be back at ComplexCon this I am. year, actually. Shout out to Market. Cool, so I think we have enough complex pieces. Okay. Where we're now we're gonna make a collage. We're gonna sew them all together and then cut out our pattern pieces and then start sewing those together. Okay. Process, baby. Can you help me, like, teach me how to do a stitch, you know, it's like, feed a man to fish. And you yes, can... yes. It's like, same thing with your sewing machine. Help of a course. girl out, I, I got can't you. sew I got anything. You. So let's pile these up and we'll go over here. <laughs> okay, for sure. Cool. Let's do it. Okay, so you're piling them all three together. Yeah, we're gonna do series okay. of threes just cuz. I'm gonna bring you here right now. Ah. Now with your knee. With my knee? Yeah, you're gonna oh. open this up. What? Yeah, yeah cut it closer. Mm -hmm. This inside of this right side, right, this line right here. Yeah. We're gonna line it up with this line. Okay. Now we're gonna go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. In that episode of SpongeBob where he learns to drive. I love SpongeBob. Big toe. <laughs> okay. Big toe. Dude, slow. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Now, Ready? now you feel okay. it, right? Uh -huh. So. Why am I sweating? Okay, you're like Mrs. Puff. Here we go. Yes. And I push. You can go as slow as you want. Oh, nice, nice. Don't okay. even worry about it. Just keep going. Nice. Okay, stop, stop, okay, stop. stop. See, we're getting off a little bit, but okay. it's okay. We just pivot a little bit. You're, go you're goosey. I, I failed my driving test three times, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> okay, okay, you're good, you're good. Okay. Just, just go hard. It's nice. Okay, <laughs> okay we're good. Like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You killed it, though. This is like Sally from look like, how, Nightmare Before Christmas. Look at how straight Christ. it is right here, though. <laughs> and then I got scared, and yeah. Custom. It's custom. custom. Okay, okay. I'll do. Okay. I'll get us a little bit more progressive yes. to the next point. Then you can pick up. <laughs> yeah. What is that process like when it comes to creating? Like, how involved was Danny? How involved was Cash? Most times, it's not so much involvement because they're very, very busy people too. Mm -hmm. But the Danny one, that was a super collaborative project because. She hit me up because she wanted, she liked this hat that I made. I made a hat based on Charmander mm -hmm. fire. <laughs> and at that point, I was like, whatever you need, whatever you want to do, I'm down. And normally artists are like, sure, I want some pants or like a one-time thing. Mm -hmm. And she was like, yeah, I want to do some merch. <laughs> so I was like, 
let's go. <laughs> and um, I was super geek because now I've been wanting to do merch with, with artists, mm -hmm. but she just opened up the floodgate like that. Cool. So now we have our, like a decent enough base. Mm -hmm. Now we can cut out our pattern pieces from here. Okay. Yes. I'm still dying at this crooked line. I just. I love it. We did a layer of fabric, so we had like a template, and we cut that out and sewed it onto our paper. And then we have the vinyl cover as well. It looks so well, good. So it can be waterproof and actually wearable. So we're here with the bucket. Oh. This is your messy seam. That's my seam. This is your seam, baby. I and, made it on. And for helping me, you get it. Yes! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes! I love it. Cool, yeah. It's, little it's, Fosse yeah. vibes? Yeah. Yes, vibes. Let's get it. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Summer, Honestly, baby. this is so sick, and you did it so amazingly well. I'm happy to have been a part of it. And this is streetwear history, high key. I love it. Because Complex is. Yep. Streetwear brands want to get on Complex. Mm -hmm. So now we're doing it, and this is a Complex owed to them. Well, Peter, honestly, like, the sky's the limit for you in Utopia. I can't wait to see what you do at Complex Con. Thanks Just for kidding, teaching man. me, and thanks for my help. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 <laughs>